for the night deliver Feel late, I'm a I'ma pick a shirt Ain't nobody wearing plaid, so I claim it first Mark got a little sad, cause his favorite shirt's plaid But please, let's go, I back off <laughs> Victory will be short-lived. How is it going, guys, girls, and gamers alike? Shaggy Games here, and today we're going to be talking about the Sith Lord of Gaming, EA. Now, this isn't just going to be, like, specifically EA. I'm going to be talking about a little points here and there um, about EA Sports, some of the games that are coming out for it, um, some of the games that are owned by the company, and why I just think they're an absolute shitstorm of a company. That being said, this is something a little bit new on the channel. I haven't done too many ranting things, so if you guys are excited for this, be sure to leave a like below. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I don't know if I'm going to be doing this. If this video gets to about, I don't know, like 100 likes, um, I'll probably do another video like this. Uh, 100 likes is a huge reach though, so I'm not really expecting too much there. And with Without further ado, we are about to get into my first couple points. Now, EA has a lot of IPs, right? They have a, a, a lot of really good IPs. I don't know how else to put it. Between Battlefront, EA sports games like Madden, FIFA, um, they have Battlefield. They have a lot of of freaking good IPs. Uh, it's a fair bet that most of the games that you have purchased are EA games, and I am actually a fan of a lot of these IPs, especially Battlefront. I was one of the few people that got sucked into that. More on that game coming later, but I've, I, it's just hard to understand why there's so much criticism that they obtain for these games, and they really don't listen to anything that the fans have to say. Like, I don't, there is so much that they haven't changed since, like, the inception of this freaking company. That They have had the same issues consistently Consistently. They have had just new IPs thrown at us that are phenomenal and great IPs that I would love to see either refurbished or just continue but they never fix what's fucking wrong with them. Now, again, I I am guilty of purchasing EA games. I purchase EA games a lot. A lot of the games that I own are EA games. Like I said, Battlefront, I own Madden, and I'm about to shit on that game in a little bit. I own, or I played the Battlefield 1 beta. There's background and gameplay of that going on literally as we speak. And I, I purchased a lot of these games because I want them to be good and I want them to fix these issues, but they never seem to fucking do it. And so I'm just making this as like a public service announcement. Hopefully it gets up to fucking EA. So that way they understand what the fuck they're doing wrong. Because they clearly don't know. I don't fuck with you. 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 First thing is first. There has got to be a file in your office, EA. Whoever the fucking CEO is, he's in the thumbnail. I put his photo in there. But I don't know who the fuck it, what the fuck his name is. I'm going to put his photo up here because he's going to be outed right now. But this man has got to have a filing cabinet full of complaints about these fucking servers. They get hacked by Poodle Corp. Then again, who isn't? But they hack by Poodle Corp on day one of the Battlefield beta. They get fucked on every server whatsoever. I literally, I wanted to make this video after playing Madden because the servers on Madden, they fix a little bit online, but I could literally be in the middle of a game in the Super Bowl winning like 62 to like three uh, with like a minute left and then it'll drop me out of the servers so uh, none of the stats count so I'll hop out of the game and then I go right back uh, onto the main menu and then I try to connect and it connects me fucking immediately like nothing ever happened I don't know what the fuck is up with that what is wrong with your system that I can be kicked out of a game and I can be playing a game for majority of it but literally a minute or two later I can be right back into the same exact game online why are your servers that fucked up and like uh, even to prove my point I wanted to have video of this happen and and literally, I just went on to the EA Madden servers, went on to a cloud franchise that I was playing with the Browns, because I wanted to record a franchise for the Browns for this channel, before I wanted to do a rant or anything. I wanted to, I recorded episode 0 and episode 1, where I like essentially made the team and then I played the first game. And in the first game, I got disconnected four fucking times. And I have video evidence of this. I went online to that same franchise, and literally within seconds, I got kicked off of the server and then got right back on it. The video doesn't show me getting right back on it, but it shows me getting kicked off, and it shows how fucking easy it is to get kicked off of these fucking servers. That has got to be the number one complaint that they receive. 
There is uh, gameplay mechanics, sure, that's an issue, but they've covered a lot of them, at least in Madden and Battlefield. Animations, they're, they're, they're harping up these graphics so fucking much this generation, and uh, of gaming in general, but nothing really is gonna compare to PC, I, I, I hate to say, but like, you, you gotta have a very nice PC to run games at the graphics that they're calling the fucking phenomenal. The, the number one complaint has gotta be that their servers are broke as fuck, because they always are, and that's always an issue. I purchase a game like Battlefield day one, I would like to be able to play it day one and not have to wait a week for them to fix out the kinks that they've been trying to f that, that, that should be the thing. I would like to be able to play my game that I purchased on day one for 60 fucking dollars. I'm not gonna fucking just let it sit in my Steam library for, or Origin or whatever the fuck EA runs. I'm not gonna just let it sit in there for, after spending 60 fucking dollars on it. You know, like, I, I would like to be able to purchase and play a game when I get it. But that seems to be their fucking issue. I don't know what the fuck. But that, that, is, that is priority number one and has been in my head since they've fucking become a company. And they really, they really need to get their shit together on that. Alright, Star Wars Battlefront. The, I love the idea of this game, right? They left so much out of this just to probably give it back to us later. I don't want to say what that fourth expansion pack is, but I think we can assume that it's Star Wars The Force Awakens and there's going to be space battles in it. But at the point of what they've given us so far in this expansion packs or the season pass, which by the way, they were marketing before we even were told what was in it. We weren't even told what was in the this season pass and they were marketing it for 50 fucking dollars. Let me, let me repeat that. $50 for something we didn't know we were purchasing. Now, I was lucky enough going to my local GameStop and they didn't, they were out of the posters. Shout out to whoever the fuck did this. They were out of the posters for pre-ordering the deluxe edition, which by the way was a ripoff on its own. I only got three things that I could have unlocked 30 minutes into playing that game. Um, and I got early access to the Battle of Jakku map, which isn't in The Force Awakens, but technically isn't in The Force Awakens because they're not putting The Force Awakens in that game. But whatever the fuck, they're just going to surprise us anyway. And, but the guy behind the counter was like, yeah, we don't have this poster anymore. Do you want the season pass? And I was like, Yes, and so he gave me the season pass, so I'm happy enough that I didn't spend the $50 on it. But for people who did spend the $50 on it, why would you buy this ahead of time when you don't know what is going into it? You literally just spent $50 on something that could be complete and utter garbage, and when you're pre-ordering stuff like that, you are pretty much prompting EA to give you complete and utter garbage, because they're like, they're going to spend $50 on whatever the fuck we give them. Why wouldn't we just save our money and save our time and effort? So that that's complete and utter bullshit. And what they've given us through it is literally a hero, a villain, and a map pretty much for for like a game and then we've gotten a game mode here and there as like free dlc or or paid dlc through the through the season pass but literally it, it's so stupid like it just seems like stuff that they took out of the game just to make us pay f another game's price again later just to get the full game and that is the worst dlc that you could possibly give in a fucking system a anything like a any dlc that just seems like it was ripped out of the games to sell it back to us later is complete and utter bullshit Shit, and that's all EA fucking does. So I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I played the shit out of Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront was fucking phenomenal. But I, it's such fucking bullshit what they're doing with it. It really pains me that there's probably gonna be a second one without anything that we've asked for, and they're just gonna sell it back to us back and forth, back and forth. If we don't get space battles by the end of the season pass, I can, I'm considering it a loss because that was my favorite part of that fucking game. Heroes versus villains is almost exclusively what I play on that game now, just because that's what you get to play as the hero with. And that's, that's, that was fun. I remember playing on um, Moss's Isley map and on the fucking PS2 game that I had of Battlefront 2. And we could set all heroes and literally just fight all heroes against each other. But they kind of like stripped it down and made it worse somehow. Like you had the IP, but you just made it shitty. And I, I, I can't get over that with that game. Watch out, oh watch out, oh watch out, yeah. I smash out, I smash out, I smash out, yeah. All right, what's next on this list? Fucking Madden. Madden 17 is such a fucking shitstorm. I can't even explain to you how much of a shitstorm Madden 17 it is. Except I'm gonna try anyway. That's the whole point of this, isn't it? Madden 17, literally, as I've already explained with the servers, are fucking trash. But I can beat a team like 70-something to zero on all pro. But as soon as you bump it up to all Madden, I'm throwing interceptions left and right. And it's the hardest fucking thing on planet Earth. They've got to learn to balance these things out. Balancing that they've set. It's the most balanced Madden game yet. IGN. 
plastered it up on a fucking billboard. Most balanced game yet. 8.6 out of 10. They didn't balance shit. They talked about the animations and how they're fixing shit, but you still have really glitchy bullshit that happens consistently with that fucking game. You literally can find a glitch every other fucking second there's something stupid going on i recorded one game with a friend and i had at least two bullshit things happen and we quit the game early because of the bullshit and then there's just stupid animation stuff like how haven't you how has that gone through everything with the mechanics that you have and the money that you have how are you able to market a really balanced and really well put out game when it's just complete and utter garbage and the, the big thing this year was blocking field goal kicks i think that was one of the and, and hurdling they fixed i guess but blocking field goal kicks was the main thing i was excited about i was like finally they added something to the game it was, it was happening a fuck ton in the season before but it was like next I've n i did not see it once i've never seen a field goal blocked prior to this matting game it was something that you just never see you, you you could see a punt here and there but you would never see a field goal block but i have played one season in my Cleveland Brown personal franchise because I always like trying to fix the Cleveland Browns and make them a Super Bowl team that's just something I do often and I played one season in that Madden franchise and literally I have a highlight reel of just blocked kicks by one guy Dexter McDougal like he's the fucking god of blocked kicks or something he blocked so many fucking kicks that season we had blocked punts we had blocked field goals we had blocked field goals go for our first down just highlight reels and highlight reels of blocked kick it's just so stupid how this is something that could go through they're like all right well yeah we added block kicks we know this isn't something that happens every fucking game in um a regular nfl game but we're gonna give it to you like it does and we're gonna make it something that's really easy to do on all pro especially and even all madden really all madden i can I, all these highlights were in all madden i was able to block all these kicks in the hall it, it's just surprising to me how you can add this new mechanic but overdo it and they they always seem to do that in every madden game and it is just so fucking stupid and then i've already talked about the fucking animations and the glitches and everything that else that goes on with that that makes it a bullshit kind of thing to play and it, it almost ruins the experience of the game like uh, i only really like building teams now in that game and they're, with the way that they're going they're, they might just take off offline franchises at this point um and just do connected franchises and make it something stupid along those lines just it, it's just complete stupidity the actual game i love building the teams i love practice squad that was a cool addition i guess but I, I, they just need to fucking get their shit together that that is the main issue you ain't really fuck with me way back then girl how about now because i'm up right now and you're stuck right now oh you thought you had it all figured out back then girl how about now because i'm up right now all right battlefield one easily next on the list battlefield one is pretty good beta not gonna lie i really enjoyed the battlefield beta titanfall would be on this list too but i don't know enough about it i didn't really like the first titanfall i've played a little bit of it um but battlefield is a pretty fun beta i i'm not usually into these shooting kind of games uh, which is most of what ea is there's a lot of bullshit that goes on to this beta i'm not going to get into that because it is a beta it's not fair to judge a game for what is kind of like put out there ahead of time does the beta get really kind of like not not really shoddy at times i don't want to say shoddy I, I would say it gets repetitive at times because it's one map and two game modes you can, but again you can't judge it for that what i'm gonna say is i'm just cautious because i've already talked about it in the past their servers are fucking trash I, I i there's past battlefield games where you couldn't even play it on pc ahead of time you literally had to wait like a, a, a decent like couple weeks before you could actually like get on the servers and have it fixed have the game that you purchased which is atrocious like how are you how are you marketing this game when it's not even playable really and it's just i don't, I don't even i don't even know how to how to say how cautious i am about this game it looks phenomenal it plays great on pc i, I and i'm sure it looks atrocious on um xbox and ps4 i can only imagine i don't i don't know how else to say that you should really really look into it before you purchase it i would play the beta make sure you can deal with the beta the matches are very long um but that's nothing too too new it is a very unique kind of gameplay experience it's just the fact that it is an ea game is what's stopping me from purchasing it which is really saying something if this was a ubisoft game which i think is pretty much connected to ea in every way shape and form i think anyway i, I could be wrong on that don't don't quote me on that if this was a ubisoft game if this was a naughty dog game if this was anything else i would be purchasing purchasing this game like i would have had pre-ordered um i've, I've pre-ordered games well in advance well in advance when i'm a huge fan of the system if there was a last of us 2 game coming out 
I don't know if how many of you know this about me, but I am big. Like, that is one of my top three games of all time. If there was a Last of Us 2 game coming out, I would purchase that a PS4 just to play that game. That is how big of a fan I am of this game. There is not one single EA game that I would say I would purchase a console and a game for. I would not purchase, like, if this game only came out on Xbox, I, I would not buy an Xbox for it. I, I mean, I have one, but I wouldn't buy an Xbox One for this game. Well, not every game is going to be a Last of Us, but that's I don't I don't know. There, there's there's so much bullshit that just goes on with EA, and they're they're just not good to their fans 100% of the time. I would say probably below 50% of the time they're good to their fans, and it just makes me so hesitant to buy any of their fucking games because it's really really just something that. I, I, it's just, they, they never fix it. So, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm still very hesitant for purchasing this game. The beta's a crap ton of fun. I recorded a lot of it, um, gameplay-wise, and it's one of those things that you can kind of just kick back and watch and play, and it's a ton of fun to just watch and play. I don't, I don't know, there's just so much bullshit that goes on with EA, that's, uh, th it's just, my point with this is that there's so much bullshit that goes on with EA that it makes me hard, it, it, I have to think more about purchasing a game when it's an EA game, when it, as opposed to any other game. And it, it, that's how you know your co company has an issue. Alright, well, uh, everything being said, I think, my, at least my perspective on a lot of these, Titanfall, Battlefield, everything, if, if there's going to be a Star Wars Battlefront 2, I'm saving my money and waiting for them to go down in price. There's, I don't know what I'm going to do at this point as far as purchasing Battlefield 1. I don't know if I'm going to wait for it to go down in price. Like I said, I think that is what I'm going to end up doing, um, just waiting for it to go down. Because it is going to be a hot game to record, and I, I don't know, it, it's one of those things that are fun to play and fun to record and fun to play with friends. The f friendship is very big in a lot of games nowadays. You want, you need to have an online competitive game that you can play with some friends. Overwatch is a great competitive game to play with friends because you can have a squad, you can all go in, and that is a great example of what good online servers are, by the way. Great online servers are definitely Overwatch Blizzard servers. Blizzard servers I have yet to have an issue with. I've literally never been in a server for a Blizzard server and yet to be, I've yet, I've yet to be kicked out of a Blizzard server, and I have Ethernet connection too, by the way. And I had, I've had issues with the Battlefield servers. I've had it where I've literally dropped to like zero frames on like medium. Um, and it, it, I don't know. I think at the end of the day, you just gotta save your money, and, th and then that is what I'm gonna end up doing uh, on most of EA games. I'm probably not even gonna purchase Titanfall just because it's an EA game. All that being said, guys, though, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like below, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, and yeah, I don't know, this is kind of like a new experiment for me, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more rants, if I'm going to be doing exclusively rants, be sure to comment below what you guys think I should be doing, um, or if I should be doing more reviews like No Man's Sky or something along those lines, or more gameplays, uh, just really what you guys would like to see. But that being said, that is all for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm at an all time. <laughs>